we are. It's Wednesday, and we are now uh, leaving Warren and Lisa's house, and we're going to set off for Kufstein, Genbach, and then we're working our way to Innsbruck for the first couple days, and we're heading south, because as you can see here in uh, Brookmule, uh, the weather's been a bit on the spotty spide compared to last year, so we're going to hope for better weather as we travel south. And here goes the beginning of our journey. We'll be saying goodbye to Lisa in a few minutes and off we go. Kufstein, and uh, we're just leaving town now, going through the old Altstadt, the old city, and we're going to be heading our way down to Genbach and Innsbruck. So we'll take you along on the rest of the ride here and uh, give you some sights of uh, the uh, cycle trip along the Inn River. to uh, Angat, about uh, well, an hour out of, 45 minutes out of Kustin, and uh, we're carrying on, we're back on a little Radweck, and Sylvie's just patiently waiting me to take some pictures here. So this was Angat, and we're carrying on. It's been mostly uh, blacktop, but a little bit of a hard packed gravel, but otherwise it's pretty good so far. Okay, well we're coming out of the town of Kundul, and uh, it's a flat valley bottom here, but as you can see, we're bucking a pretty strong headwind again. And this is the second time we've hit this. Pretty strong wind, so it's making it a little bit tougher pedaling, but we're working our way towards Innsbruck, and we still have Genbach up ahead. And we've been on road now for about an hour and a half. And uh, we'll just see how it goes, but unfortunately we're not going up through the hills in these little villages. The Inn Radweck takes you pretty much through the valley bottom alongside either the Autobahn or the train. And thus it's flat. But uh, we'd hope to make some mileage, but it's a little bit tough with this wind. Okay, so we're just outside of Innsbruck. As you can see, we've uh, had to garb up with rain gear uh, because uh, <laughs> If you, if you look in the background there, it looks pretty nasty. We've been uh, trying to outrun this storm here. And so far so good. It's not really raining, but we're getting set. We're just uh, maybe 20 minutes out of Innsbruck and the Gulping House. Stay tuned.
Okay, well, good morning. Uh, we are currently in Innsbruck and uh, we have ridden here all the way from Kufstein, uh, pretty much along the Inn River. And uh, we battled a fair bit of winds to get here and then heavy rain as we uh, entered Innsbruck. But uh, we finally uh, found our accommodation here at the uh, Kolping House which is at the west end of town. Uh, that I didn't know when I booked it. That's why it took us so long to get here. We pretty much passed every youth hostel on the way in. Uh, but of course, we're on the west end, like I said, and that will take us closest to Imst, uh, where our next destination will be tonight. Unless, of course, Sylvia's not feeling well, and then we'll try to stay here another night. Anyhow, the accommodation here is pretty awesome. Breakfast was good, and uh, we're gonna try to catch the train here shortly uh, for our little tour of the city of Innsbruck. So the two rattlers here, uh, there's Sylvia, my partner. She's having a little bit of a struggles with her head today. It's not 100%. So we've uh, toured the town of Innsbruck. It didn't take us too long. And we've since decided we're gonna carry on now to Imst. We're gonna connect into the Via Claudia Augusta and we're just gonna take it from there. So uh, here goes our journey. We're gonna leave Innsbruck, hook back up to the Inn River and carry on from there. And uh, we're still on our way to Imst. We're coming through Simmering, a little town of Simmering. Again, it's all pretty flat, but this part of the ride is actually really nice because uh, we've been off the Autobahn for a good chunk of it. It's paved almost the whole way. You'll see this little beautiful farmhouse behind me on the right there. So it's been a really nice ride through here. And so far, the weather's held up for us really good. Sylvie's head's held up really good. Charged up, had a coffee in the last little town, and next stop should be Imst in about 15 k from here. Here comes the mountain climber.
well good morning it's Saturday we are uh, currently seven kilometers above the village of Imst uh, Sylvia and I got a ride here last night from the uh, hotel owner who has the other hotel down in town of course they were sold out last night so here we are seven K's above Imst and woke up this morning to rather cloudy and wet day today but regardless we're pressing on we're heading now towards Nodders and not sure how far we'll make today maybe Pafuns or the town of Nodders and uh, it'll be a wet one so we're going to put on our rain gear today and uh, experience cycling in the rain for the second time on this trip and as we continue south we keep hoping for better weather and that's about all we can do is hope so here we go on the uh, trip from Imst to Puffins and Nodders. So here we are, we're down in the bottom of uh, Imst and we're just uh, we're getting our bikes together here in the uh, garage and this is about the only dry spot right now. Aside from being in a hotel room, this is about the only place you can escape. What we have out here is that stuff there. Yes, folks, that is rain. Well, as you can see, it's a little wet out. So we're, uh, we're dry, we got our rain gear on. But, uh, God damn it, I hope it stops raining at some point in time. It kind of sucks to see Germany like this, but for the Germans, this is normal. So here we go, onward home. So we've arrived into uh, Landeck. It's a fairly busy town. Uneventful so far, the rain is slowly abating. It's still cloudy, but uh, thanks to these handy gloves here, we're staying dry. And uh, we're heading on towards Buffins, which might be our stop for the day. We'll see how we do. Stay tuned, more to come. <laughs> right on. Where are you going? Good to. Well, we should be arriving into the town of Pufuns shortly. It's about 3:30, and uh, the weather has improved dramatically. It was a pretty easy ride, but really, it was really interesting. A few ups and downs along the rivers. That was quite nice. So, we'll see uh, we'll, how far we are from Nodders, because we have to do the path, so we might just stop here and do that tomorrow. But we'll see how that goes. number five uh, it's a little bit moist today not raining too hard and we're gonna carry on now from the town of Pufuns we're gonna go over Nodders Pass we're heading towards the village of Nodders we're going through Martina and uh, apparently a bit of a climb supposedly some snow up there at some point and uh, 
other people are taking the bus, but we're doing the adventure some way and we're gonna do the climb up Nodders. Comes Sylvia up the Russian Pass. She's still smiling. We'll see you about a while now. Now, well, it appears there's a traffic jam in the road, and you can see why there's a traffic jam. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Right on. So we were well ahead of the traffic and we're now leaving Switzerland here in a moment as we are in Martina. We're gonna head over the Russian Pass to Nodders. And we head back, turn back into Austria. So uh, just a very small stretch of this is through Switzerland. 11 degrees today. No rain, so it's super. We're going to go through a border crossing here. And uh, I think it's a border crossing. I don't know what the heck it is. I don't even know if we have to cross, so we'll find out. Okay, well, we're above the town of Moritz and the border and the Austrian border. And we're still on our climb up towards Nodders. I don't know, I guess we're about halfway. I'm not, not really that sure. Um, but uh, down in the distance behind me there, you can see uh, there's a village of Moritz in the back. It's been a good climb up from the bottom uh, from the Swiss border, being about six, six kilometers or so, about a kilometer to go. It's a good climb, but we've done a hell of a lot worse, and we won't be beaten by Austrian roads or mountains Canadians can conquer even German Canadians I just got Sylvia behind me somewhere we'll see here comes Sylvia slow and steady tortoise in the hair at the top of the pass here these uh, these uh, Austrians they made it sound like <laughs> this was gonna be a, like a death defying yeah. accomplishment like you're going up Everest or something I don't know we met people from uh, Seattle they had to take the bus because they're Americans you know they do it the easy way but not not us Canadian Germans no <laughs> no we'd go up the way rack on we power down and uh, we made it up here in about what 45 minutes? 45 minutes. So about 6k up this hill. I think we did pretty good. And uh, hey, bring it on, Austria. We can take on this. We can do the Fern Pass. Anything, any pass, no problem. We're ready for it.
slowly getting uh, packed up here around 9 30 in the morning it's a really nice day as you can tell which is a real pleasant surprise from what we've had so far and we're going to be riding onwards ho towards Bozen or Bolzano Moran is the other town just before that and uh, it's a fair distance to Moran I don't think we're going to make the 100 kilometers but that would likely explain why most of the cyclists that we met the other day have carried on but nonetheless, uh, we took time to uh, see the sights here in Nodders and smell the flowers and enjoy the festivities here in town. It was a short ride yesterday, but uh, we'll carry on today as we uh, will approach the Italian border and then uh, we shall be in Italy for the remainder of this trip here until we hit Verano. So here we go. Well, we're just warming up. A little bit cool. Waiting. So he's behind me here. I know I'm puffing. I think it's all like gastric shunting for breakfast. They forgot to spend some money on their flag, looking a little tattered. So now we are on a Cyclopia. through the town of Bergeis after about a three kilometer descent on the bicycle path which is just fantastic. So this is the village of Bergeis in the distance there and there's lots of accommodations so we could have easily have left Nodders yesterday and come to here because it's how many miles fast there? Uh, 15 miles. 15 miles from Nodders so it was it was very doable. Anyhow you gives you a little view here. It's just spectacular probably about 20 something degrees right now a bit of a wind but just a beautiful day and uh, I suspect we are probably headed uh, down this valley and if we look in the distance here there's a valley down below that that's where we're headed down that way there and then we turn left towards Murano okay We are currently loaded up, panniers on the bikes, and we are set to blast off. Next stop will be Moran, and then uh, we're going to head a little bit further 
south past that we're going to head to uh, Bolzano or Bozen, as they say here. Uh, I mean, it was today, yesterday was a fantastic ride. Pretty much downhill all the way from Nodders, at least 20, just about 20 miles downhill. Gentle, but fantastic. Uh, we had some fresh snow here in the hills last night, but today looks like it'll be a really nice day for cycling. And we should be uh, in Bozen roughly three hours or a little bit less. It's only a little over 50 kilometers uh, from here to there and it's downhill pretty much all the way. So here we go for our uh, continuing journey on the way to Verona. Well, yesterday we just looked at the odometer. We were on the bike 51 kilometers for a total of five hours. It was an easy ride though, but long one trying to find this hotel. As you can see, we're kind of like up Seems like we're in the boonies, but we're not. And uh, right now we're just working our way down from the uh, accommodation back into the village in Laterno. We'll hook back into the uh, oops. we'll hook back into the cycle path at uh, town here at the river, and we're going to work our way down to Moran. And uh, here we go. Well, again, it's 11 o'clock. And we're just working our way down the bike path here. Lots of traffic on the trail here today. Again, I don't know if they're working or they're on holidays or what the hell. So we had a good sleep here otherwise last night despite getting here late. Although I have to say, Jesus Christ, not enough. There's no feathers in that pillow. It was as flat as a pancake. I think I could have used my ginch as a pillow. It would have been fluffier. <laughs> But uh, improvised and used some of my luggage to fluff up my pillow. And uh, that worked out okay. And uh, we're still going through the orchards here, so let's have a look. just above Moran, Morano, and this uh, trail is just freaking awesome. It may not be the most politically correct words, but it's freaking awesome. And uh, there's the uh, city below us here, just a super ride. It's scenery is drop dead gorgeous. Just too bad it's not sunny, but uh, we're going to continue our descent down into the valley down below. And from there onward to Bolzano. And you can see it's pretty busy here in town today. Lots of tourists, lots of cyclists, lots of people not working. So, give you a little snippet of uh, Morano. So we're on the uh, cycleway still from Murano to Bolzano, we got a little twisted around. GPS told us to go one way, 
But obviously they've rerouted the Via Clodia without informing the people at the GPS. So we went about, I don't know, 8 to 10 kilometers unnecessarily through the hills around Morano. So at this point we still have 20 k's to go. In an hour we should be there roughly around 4 o'clock-ish. Which is now our new cutoff rule. 4 to 5 o'clock. That's it. So here we go, we're down the Adige cycleway. And it must be an old railway line, it's flat as a pancake. Still in Bolson, we are at the Kolping House here in uh, the city, at the city centre. It was a really good accommodation, really well located right in the heart of the old sound town here. And uh, so we've got our bikes over here, they're all loaded up, ready to go for the continuing uh, trip down as we uh, work our way now towards Trento. We are getting further south into Italy here, so at this point we are likely not to speak any more German, or at least it won't work for me. Uh, so I'm letting Sylvie take over the translating portion. She's now going to be kicking into Italian mode, and uh, it should be entertaining to see how Sylvie does communicating in Italian. She uh, took a brief three-minute YouTube video last night on the key essentials to Italian and I just can't wait to see how that goes. So from Bozen we now head towards Trento and uh, Gardena and uh, here we go. Okay here we go, we're uh, setting off now from Bolzano, just going past the Duomo. We're gonna shank off to the right, try to hook up to a river and uh, reconnect with the uh, Via Claudia. Well, here we are at the Piazza in Bolzano. And this is what it's like being on a tour bus. Herded like cattle. And thank you. spa biking you don't get this back home it would only be after about 150 miles before we got a coffee and a strudel that'd be a timmy's that'd be a tim hortons if you're lucky to find one <laughs> so crappy truck stop at home anyhow so well, we've arrived into trento Well, we uh, we saw Trento, eh, Sylvia? Yeah. And uh, Trento. we saw it, and we ex we went into, and we went exito. 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 Uh, Trento Cita. wasn't worth staying there. The hostel was a dump. So we're gonna carry on uh, a little after three, and I'm sure we can't do any better than what we just saw in Trento. Just another busy town. Moving on.
Okay, we're now leaving Rovereto. We're a little after 10 in the morning. Another beautiful day here in Italy. And we're going to be making our way down to Verona. We've been trying to decide whether we should go to Lake Garda or not. But uh, I think it's a not. We're going to be heading, at this point, we're going to be heading straight south to Verona and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. So, leaving Rovereto. About uh, 20 kilometers outside of Rovereto, and this is a typical bicycle bar. It's uh, fundamentally it's a bar exclusively for bicyclists, and it gives you an idea how many people come here. There's uh, an idea how busy this is. that uh, my bike just has a thing against Europe so I've broken another spoke this year and so a nice fellow from uh, Verona escorted us down here to the bike shop here in this town just outside of Verona and I'm just getting my rim repaired right now take about an hour and then uh, we'll be back on the road Porto Nuova train station. Uh, we got here into Verona around, uh, checked in around eight, a little earlier than eight o'clock, around seven, seven fifteen. I uh, walked around the old city for a while, but it's uh, super expensive with all these ridiculous concerts going on here. And we've opted now to head up to Vienna and we'll catch the Danube, working our way back towards Warren's Elisa's at Brookmule. So the next stop we're hoping we can catch on this uh, 1102 train. It's an express train to Innsbruck. And uh, we're just hoping we can catch on this one. Otherwise, we're on another one. So we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so a little addendum to my last video. So the problem that we're running into here in Verona, it's not getting on the train, it's getting our bicycles on the train. And this has been a repetitive issue uh, whether you go to Würzburg or wherever you go, they make it sound like getting on the train is easy, and it is, but if you have bicycles, you need to book in advance, which you can't do on the internet, which you gotta do at the booking office, which means you gotta come down to the train station, you gotta stand in line for an hour, it just goes on and on and on. So, you gotta be highly organized, and it's difficult when you really don't know where your next point of destination is gonna be. So that's why we're waiting here, and again, uh, keep our fingers crossed that we're going to make this 1102. Okay, well as you can see, we did make the train from uh, Verona, Porto Novova to uh, Innsbruck. And I just bought another ticket from Innsbruck to uh, Vienna. We'll be there around 8.30 tonight, we'll be checking at the Kloping House. And it's interesting because the train is going back the exact same direction that we cycled. In fact, I'm looking at the windmills that we rode past. Uh, that was the death hill for Sylvia. <laughs> um, but uh, she, I just thought she just about had a coronary arrest. Plus, this is for heat stroke coming down that thing. But uh, anyway, we're heading back the exact same way. And it was a super trip down here. And now uh, we're heading back. Catching the train from Innsbruck to Vienna. We'll be there tonight at 7.30, got luck. Caught the early train, and uh, so we'll be in Vienna. 
tonight. Well, it's Saturday today and we, uh, after a very long day on a train from Verona to Vienna and about an hour and a half at least, close to two hours standing up in a goddamn train from uh, Innsbruck to Salzburg, we've arrived here in uh, Vienna, the capital city of Austria. And uh, we're just walking around some of the sites around the old town here. And uh, just doing it all by foot today. Skipping the hop off, hop on, hop off, just to have a look. Tomorrow we carry on to Linz on bicycle. this morning off for Krems on the Dano and there's uh, my stuff <laughs> and there's the hoarder over there look at look at the collection of bags over there <laughs> bags Home Depot Home Depot water Superstore bottle. water bottles is ridiculous <laughs> and believe it or not it's all gonna go into that bag and that bag because I refuse to put it into that bag and that bag all right well today is Sunday and we're on the opera ring here in Vienna. A little bit of a bouncy one. We're just heading out of uh, town now. We're gonna be traveling west along the Danube towards Linz. And uh, this is uh, Vienna. of Thuln, just about 25 miles outside of Vienna, and we're on our way to Krems, halfway is there. That's a pleasant little town here. It's a Sunday, so it's not too busy, and a few of the cafes with good fortune happen to be open today, because we thought uh, everything here is what they call Geschlossen. Then closed for the day, but it is not, so a couple pictures here of Thuln. around 315 and you know, we're about seven kilometers outside the town of Krems. Did pretty good actually getting here when you think we by the time we got out of Vienna which is six miles out of town but uh, so we'll be in Krems shortly just about to join up with Sylvia up ahead. We've arrived into Krems and we're just walking the uh, downtown core here on a Sunday looking for somewhere to eat. It's pretty quiet here in town compared to Vienna. A little bit more, it's got a little bit more pleasant than uh, Vienna. Uh, we'll see if we can find something. Well, good morning. It's Monday here in the little town of Krems, Austria. And we are at the sort of the last portion of the uh, vacation for Sylvia and myself. We're going to cycle today towards the town of Linz. Um, I don't know if we'll make it that far today or shortly before to maybe to Pitchling, but we'll see. We'll be continuing on cycling along the Danube this morning and uh, started off nice and sunny, but the clouds have slowly drifted in. Still expect a good day for cycling. Um, yesterday we did about 54 miles from Vienna to here. Pretty easy ride and we're going to carry on and we're going to continue down the Danube towards Lenz. 
Okay, a little addendum to our trip so far. We're still, uh, we've uh, returned to Krems because uh, I have broken yet another spoke just a kilometer out of town. So we had to return back into Krems here and with good fortune, we hit this bike shop here in Krems and uh, the guys, uh, I decided just to buy a new rim because I was just tired of this horseshit with this tire here. So the guys sold me a rim and they put it on and it's all together ready to rock and roll for around 140 bucks. But we're uh, on the road again and hopefully we'll not have any troubles. Keeping the fingers crossed. Sylvia, trucking up the, uh, I think this is the Ole Hill on the Good morning, it's uh, Tuesday, September 26th, and this is the final day of cycling for uh, Pete Max Adventures here in Germany, Italy and Austria. And uh, today's ride takes us from the little town of Yibs here along the Danube River towards, where are we going to? We're going heading west and we're gonna go towards the town of Linz. And from there, we're gonna catch the train. Uh, to Salzburg, where we will uh, have accommodations at the hostel tonight. You can der Berge make use of our uh, membership that we haven't used so far in this trip. Uh, it's been a really good cycle trip so far. Yesterday we were fortunate we had the wind at our backs, which is unusual for here. Today it feels like we might have a bit of a headwind, but we'll be uh, hopefully in Linz in the course of the next five hours so we can catch our 542 train to Salzburg. So the next footage that you'll see along this trip here so far will be along the Danube, which has been very interesting from Tuln up to here so far, but from Tuln to Vienna. Anyhow, here goes the rest of our trip towards Salzburg. Okay there, Rattler. So uh, what have you got to say for yourself today? You're normally very speechless. Let's see if there's anything that can come out of your lips when it comes to the camera being on. You're not short of words. Um, yeah, so. But the trip's been good, no problems at all. I had a good uh, Pete Max uh, geek guide and uh, it was an excellent trip. So, could be the last day, which could be sad, but we'll see how it all goes. There's always another trip. Always another trip. We're, always, we're already planning for next year. Oh. He's got to retire, and then we've got more time. So here comes the uh, boat. There's our uh, operator right there. He's going to take us over to the other side here. Oh, he's doing really good. He's uh, bang on the money here. This guy knows how to drive. There, see, there's some happy customers. Anybody's happy anytime you go from one side to the other without swimming. 
Okay, we're getting on the boat here now. Heading over to Green or Grind, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, Cup can thank me, game at a new U boat. Hello, yeah. This one's a Capitan. Le Capitan. Okay, so yes, we're heading off now over to Grind. This is that's not far away. Just over on the other side here. Here we go. We're heading over. We're hugging the shoreline here. I need my fishing rod. Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 27th. Final day of cycling for uh, Peter and Sylvia. And we've uh, kind of opted it. Uh, we saw sm some of the city last night and it's pretty small. And we're kind of cityed out. So we've just opted for the cycle trip from here, Salzburg, uh, to somewhere on route between here and Rosenheim. And with hope we'll find a train somewhere in between there, right Sylvia? Yeah. We're hoping. We're hoping, of course. If no, we do, we'll call Warren. We don't. We call Warren, or I hear a lecture. So uh, we're gonna try to see how things go today. But it was a really good stay here at the youth hostel, room 103. Reports were that they had bed bugs all over. Didn't see one bed bug. Not nothing. It was perfect. Uh, so we're gonna set off here now. It's around 10:30 in the morning, and we're gonna take the Mozart Radweg onwards towards uh, Rosenheim. What are you doing there, Sylvia? Pretty quiet. Okay, well, we uh, have cycled from Salzburg to Bergen. Left around 10.30 this morning, got into Bergen here about 25 minutes ago. Purchased a ticket. We're gonna take the uh, train now to Rosenheim. And uh, from there we'll catch just a little local train to Brookmool. And uh, so it's been a really good cycling trip. This is really the last of our uh, cycling for uh, our Europe trip this year. And uh, it was a good time, but everything comes to an end. And our cycling days end fundamentally here in Bergen, Germany. For 2017, Peep Max over and out. What do you got to say for yourself there, Sylvia, after a little bit of a stretch there? Well... There were some pretty tense moments there. I wasn't expecting to go up a mountain or hill there after two weeks of going downhill, so I wasn't a happy girl. But I got over it because the scenery was worth it. Really nice. Okay. So that so ends the uh, 27 bike trip. We have returned back to the chalet here. And... Uh, well, I'm loading. Here we are back in Brookmoor.
the water go up, must go down. That's the Italian. You go up, you go down. Now we go down. 